Yeah, Americans are now the most medicated people on the face of the earth, and they don't have the best health. 70% of Americans are on a prescription drug. And yet, most of us know very little about the pharmaceuticals that we're actually taking and about their effects. Drug companies today are extraordinarily powerful, and Americans are paying the price. You know, for 33 years, I've been fighting big polluters on Capitol Hill as an environmental attorney and an advocate, and I always thought oil and coal were the kind of the big behemoths, but that's before I started challenging the pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical companies spent more on lobbying than any other industry. They spend twice what oil and gas spends. Pharmaceutical companies have more lobbyists on Capitol Hill than all the congressmen and all the senators combined. And all of the institutions that are supposed to protect Americans from a potentially rapacious industry have in one way or the other been compromised. Congress, of course, through this huge flood this cascade of lobbying dollars. The press has also been compromised. The pharmaceutical companies spend up to $5 billion annually on advertising, and many of the mainstream press outlets are very reluctant to criticize their biggest advertisers. The regulatory agencies that are supposed to stand between Americans and the industry have become captured agencies, the CDC and the FDA. They are often act as sock puppets for the industry that they're supposed to regulate. So the one institution that is left, that is applying scrutiny, that is able to stand up and protect individual Americans from injuries by the pharmaceutical companies are the attorneys and the trial lawyers. And that's why it's so important that they continue to be able to take part in this battle.